What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lights and Color. In today's episode, we'll be looking at what's in the title, how I shot this amazing model, Tolani, right, in the studio using two lights. But I'll start with one light and educate you on how you can just use one light in the studio for full body portraits. Also, you know, chip in there some tips when it comes to shooting full body portraits. Well, first off, just let the person you're shooting sit. You can get everything you need from the full body portraits. And when you're done, forget shooting full body portraits when the person is standing. You can always convince the person you're shooting. You are the photographer. You know what's best, right? Yes, so first tip, and the only tip I'll say, when you don't have a huge space, just let the person sit and take that full body portrait. You can see anything you want to see, then you're good to go. The remaining, you can just do portrait. So we'll start with one light, then we'll chip in with the two lights. Then we'll see how best, you know, the image you saw was created in the studio. I'll be using my 5D Mark IV, the H5 Sigma 1.4 lens. I'm using the H5 just because I need a very good compression between my subject and the background. And I can get that separation using that light on the top over there. So today's video, I'm using a 150 deep bow parabolic from Photo Place with a Godox ED600. And a Godox, is it 30 by 160 centimeter strip box for my hair light with an SK400 as the light source, All right? So let's just get into today's video. But before I leave, don't forget to subscribe, turn on the bell notification icon, and also, you know, don't just watch this and don't, I, I mean, don't just watch this and sit at home. After you watch this, practice, and you know, you, you, you'll be better at what you do. Also, I didn't mention, I got these canvas backdrops from Pixel Junkies. You know, anyone involved in today's shoots, I'm going to link their handle down in the description. If you want any of these, just check the description. Every information you need is there. Please don't come and ask me. Right, so let's just get into today's video. Um, currently, my, my key light is at 1 over 16 plus 0 0.7, and my hair light is at 1 over 16 plus 0 0.3. I think that's the only thing I can say which is quite important in the studio. But when it comes to the settings on my camera, I don't feel they are really important. But for, you know, for whatever reason, I'm just going to say I'm using, I think I'll be shooting at ISO 160, F4, shutter speed 1 over 160, or F5. Right. We'll take a test shot. So this is how it's looking without the hair light. This is just one light. Let me take a step back and take a full body portrait. All right, so just send the face here. You can just close your eyes. Yeah. Don't forget to open your lips if you can. Yeah. Can I get a wild smile? A big smile. Great. Right. So, looking at this, one light, full body portrait. You can see the light travel from this end hitting the yellow canvas backdrop on the floor, just so that you can see it. So, if you're quite remember from the previous video, I didn't really want my light spilling on the backdrop below, so I used a grid to, you know, focus the light on the subject and not the canvas backdrop. Also, looking at this, I've tilted this to somewhat to the 45 degree angle and it's roughly two feet away from my subject, right? So in my previous video, I did mention a feet or two. So this is two feet, roughly. I haven't measured it yet, but if I showed, two feet away. And looking at this, it's lighting up anything I want. This is kind of blocking the light from hitting the background. Right, which I'll be introducing into the frame very soon. I think, yeah, let me just bring it in. Let's see how it looks. Right. So let me just send the face here. Yeah. And with a big smile. Okay, so with the curtain in there, the curtain is also catching some amount of light from the key light and I love what I'm seeing. This is how it looks. Right, so the contrast 
helps. The contrast is not only coming in from the lighting setup, it's also coming in from the colors available here. We have a yellow canvas backdrop, we have a brown canvas backdrop, we have somewhat blue, we have the steel material from wherever I got it from. The brown chair, the yellow flower, there's a red rose, the white outfit, a dark skin model, and the black hair. You know, so knowing what colors to have in your frame is also very important. That is why I have this episode or this particular, you know, um, playlist labeled light and color. Right, so it's all about light and the colors involved. And looking at this, you know, she's impressed, I'm impressed. It looks beautiful. Right, I think I need to see more of the red. So, but still cross over the leg. Can I move you? Just move, just like that. Right. Mm. Move this here. Okay. So let's see. Now we have the elements of the red in there. That's fine. That's beautiful. No smiling. Just give me a straight face. Chin up. Yeah, just like that. All right. So now we can see the red element in there also so yeah that's how you can play along with colors so i would right now introduce the hair light just so you can see how it lights the background and gives also a very great separation okay and i like that head position yeah just take a look at the video camera with your eyeballs. Let me have you smile, a big smile. Last time, let's go. Okay, so I have taken a lot and the separation is crazy, trust me. That's how it looks with the hair lights. All right, so I have not graded the hair lights. So I'm getting that spill hitting the background also. So I have a very soft light hitting the hair, rimming it out, giving me that great separation, and also hitting the backdrop and, you know, lighting the backdrop. If I want to reduce the light intensity, I'll grade it and I'll have it travel in a focus direction. I'll try that and maybe I'll just put it up so that you guys can see. So that is it about today's shoot. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share and learn and practice, which is very important. And leave down in the comment section below if you have anything you have to ask me, you can check Tolani out. I didn't mention earlier, she's a filmmaker. And if you're in the US, US, right? Yeah, and you're looking for a very dope filmmaker. She's available. Right, so thank you so much for watching today's video. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace.